SharePoint Taxonomy is a way to organize some metadata into a hierarchy. So at the top, we'll have a group or a term group. Then we create term sets. And finally, we have terms. In this video, we are going to create this entire hierarchy using SharePoint Online PowerShell PNP and an XML file. So first, I'm going to show you that my tenant has no taxonomy except the terms that are created by default. So when you are in your SharePoint Admin Center, navigate to Term Store. And what we currently have is the people group and only a couple of term sets, but those are the default ones. Now let me close this and let's see what we got there. So on the left, I have the PowerShell script and on the right, we have our XML file. So let's go ahead and have a look at the XML file. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. The first line is referencing to the PNP provisioning schema. And what's important in here is the 2018 forward slash 05. This is the current version to use. So it means that depending on when you are watching this video, the version might change. And I'm going to show you where you can find this information. Let me open up the browser again. If you go into this URL, which is the PNP provisioning schema GitHub repo, we're going to scroll down a little bit and here we have the current approved versions and you can see that the latest is the version 2018.05 and that's exactly what we have in our XML file. Back to the XML file, I'm currently using Notepad++ but choose whatever you feel the most comfortable with and we are going to create a term group that's called business area and underneath that we'll have three term sets, production, development and marketing. For each term set, we are creating just a few terms like phones or campaigns. Those are the terms. Now let's have a look at the PowerShell script. I'll assume that you already have the SharePoint Online PNP module installed on your machine. And the first thing we need to do, we need to connect to the SharePoint Online Admin Center. We only need one commandlet to import our XML file and we use the import PNP term group from XML. For the path parameter, provide the location of your XML file. Looks like everything went well. So let's open Office 365 again, refresh the page. And there we have our business area term group. Let's expand. Our term certs are here. And let's drill down a little bit more. And indeed we have our terms created as well. Thanks for watching.